I remember when I was a kid my parents were super neglectful. One day I came in and asked for the new Dragon Ball Z game and they told me to fuck off so this is what we've got. What's happening lads and welcome to another Elden Ring video that will make you feel like you get your nutsack caught in a saw trap. I want to play a game. So we're continuing our shitty little expedition through the lands between. So in today's cabinet of mentally unhinged acts we have... Holy fuck boys. I've just found the final boss of No Nut November. So the first thing in today's rota is to beat the fuck at this overgrown lizard and rob his key. Yo, this dude is sitting like he's just got the best head in his fucking life. Now that we've just absolutely obliterated that dragon, <coughs> we can now access Glintstone Academy. So Glintstone Academy is basically this game's place for the magic cartel. It's kind of like your average American school where all the nerds are packing. There's also the occasional goth kid that walks about with a blade. It's nice that the school's inclusive. I'll put it this way, Harry's lucky he started at Hogwarts because he would have ended up in the back of a milk carton if he went in here. So aye, it's basically a school for nerds and emos. Absolutely fucking fatherless behaviour. Imagine your kid going to a school where they need to wear another dude's face. Kinda gay. It's definitely fatherless behaviour. So as an empath I need to put myself in the father's shoes and jump off a building. So our first actual boss of the day is the American Bully XL. This friendly wee guy's name is Cupcake. He's just friendly, he's just playing. He's just playing, he's friendly, he's friendly. He's just playing but he's a friendly boy man, he's just trying to show me his stick. <laughs> See honestly, if you get hit by this anal bead you love men. <laughs> no no, that doesn't count. If I get hit again you need to subscribe. I'm sure most of you know already, but let me just tell you what's next. You know it's bad news when your ill and fucking Goku walks in the room, man. It's like being in a hospital bed and Iron Man walks in. I just love showing off these brand new sick martial art moves to kids that can't fucking do them. They can't do anything except make books float and fling them at you. After punching three of your students in the throat she finally lands and I can start giving her the old one-two. Oh I'm not gonna kill her first try or no. Fuck's sake. For me to get hit by a woman that fine is usually a service I have to pay for. We're just giving her the treatment of a 60s housewife. Apparently if I sit here and punch the floor she just keeps falling over so let's just spam one attack till her health bar hits zero. Yo wait she actually recovered she's beginning to believe. She's adapting to my moves. So in the next video we're going to be roundhousing with Dan. If you guys are sitting cosy, still eating, whatever the fuck it is, and you want to keep watching, then there's an easy link in the description for you guys to click that will just binge through a playlist. Thank you guys for watching, speak to you soon.